Hello, guys. Um, so I know this is another car chat, so I've done a few in a row, but I've just been A, very busy this week, but B, also very tired at the end of the day, so this is one way that I can stay consistent, and it's something that I like doing, and you guys like them too. But this will probably be the last one for this week because I'm going to try to um, cut the cycle and get back to normal filming. I don't quite understand what's going on with my hair today, but we won't worry about that. <laughs> I was supposed to wash my hair last night and I just couldn't be bothered. I was super tired. I actually went to bed around 9.30, which is very early for me. And it felt really good just to shut it down, get some sleep. And, you know, we all have days and weeks like that where, you know, you're just tired. And when you feel tired, you know, you have to listen to what your body and your mind are trying to tell you. I've done it in the past where I've completely ignored when I felt tired and it usually ends up just not working out very well so um, now if I feel tired then you know I'll just listen to my body but while I'm running this air and I want to talk to you guys about Nikocado Avocado. Now, I've done videos about Nick before on my channel. It's been several months since I talked about him last. I don't have a lot of videos on him, but I don't know if I had to guess, maybe, maybe more than five, but definitely less than eight. So somewhere around there. I know that's a random estimate, but it's been a long time since I talked about him. And recently I've seen more videos popping up on my homepage from other creators. Um, I know that there's one that's like a, a duck that's done a video. I forget his channel name. I don't watch a lot of his content, but I am subscribed to him. Um, and then that channel Penguin Z or something like that did a video. There's just been quite a few videos about him made as of lately. And the reason I wanted to know, like why are so many people all of a sudden making videos about Nick? And based on the thumbnails and then also doing my own research and looking into it for myself, I quickly figured out that Nick Avocado has gone from bad to worse as far as his overall health and he's now labeling his videos as he's a disabled person and it looks like in a lot of videos he has like a breathing apparatus I don't is it called like a CPAP I'm not super familiar with that uh, the terminology but I'll throw up an image, one of you guys will know exactly what it's called or I'll try to Google it myself, but I want to talk about this because Nick has always been a polarizing person online and especially on YouTube. This is, to my knowledge, his biggest platform. He has multiple channels, tons of subscribers, and he gets what I would consider a lot of hate watchers. They're not people who, these are not people who necessarily want to genuinely watch his content because he's entertaining or he's funny or he's relatable or he's teaching people something. A lot of his views come from people that enjoy watching a train wreck. And that's just not content that I can watch on a normal basis. It makes me feel very sad for the person on the other side of the camera. And whether or not you like Nick, Nick Avocado or you can't stand him and you wish he would just go away, at the end of the day, no matter how you feel about him, there is 
definitely one thing that you cannot deny when it comes to who he is. And it's the fact that this is someone who has absolutely ruined his life and his health and his overall well-being all for clicks and views. And that to me is so sad and so tragic just to think that somebody would be willing to go as far as he's gone just to have you know a monthly income there are not many professions at least that I can think of I can't even think of one where you have to literally ruin your body and your health in order to collect a salary and that was not a requirement for him to do that for YouTube but it's what he did because he continued to get more and more uh, clicks and views because he was continuing to decline and he saw the attention that that was getting him and he ended up continuing back in this spot and I'm gonna keep talking to you guys whatever put my mic there who cares where it goes when I think of Nick Avocado I'll tell you guys my personal feelings about Nick I think that he had a ton of potential and even though his content from day one has not been the type of content that I like because I don't like watching people eat. I don't like hearing people eat. Um, it's just not something that I enjoy. Now, around the holidays, sometimes I'll watch um, like food reviews, but I've just not been the type to ever enjoy listening to someone chew and you know mush mush around their food. Like I don't know. That's also why I don't eat on my channel because I know that people get grossed out by watching other people eat, which is a personal preference. And if you like it, I'm not saying that's wrong, but when it comes to him, even though his content was not made for me and my personal preferences, I do think that he had a lot of potential to um, go really far because he does have, if you look at his really old content, he has a good personality and he's great in front of the camera. Now, once it took a turn where he started including a lot of the theatrics and the obsessive eating of really unhealthy food and, you know, this kind of downward spiral that he's been on started, that is where those people that were in that group that I just said they most likely left his channel a long time ago and if they have been keeping up with him it's because they are upset with him and they're mad at him so that's kind of the thing with um how i personally feel about his content but what i have seen over the last couple of years this has been a large chunk of time that has passed where he has really gone downhill I think that a couple things happened with him. He obviously saw the attention that he was getting and he saw the income that was being generated by him not taking care of himself, um, you know, having meltdowns, putting on this over the top obnoxious personality, fighting with Orlin. I've talked about that before, how he, he has really tried to normalize couples fighting like it's for content and that's not for content it's not entertaining if someone finds entertainment in watching two people fight and throw food at each other and scream at each other and insult each other that might be something that you want to reflect on because that is not normal content that anyone should really find entertaining but that's just my personal opinion he definitely saw the money side of things the other thing that makes Nick Avocado kind of in a really small group of YouTubers is based on what I have seen, 
he is someone who does not care about the negativity. The negativity that follows him, the hate comments that he gets, the thumbs down, the videos made about him, and you know, there are a lot of people that can tune a lot of that out and not react to a whole lot of it, but the mass amount of negativity that follows him online is something that I don't think a lot of people would be able to just get worse while all of that is following you. You know, could someone like continue on that path? Sure. But Nick Avocado has not followed on that path. He has gotten so much worse over the past, uh, you know, let's call it like a year, especially because over the past year, he has his health went like his physical health. You know, I don't really want to talk about his mental health because I'm not qualified to commentate on his mental health or give feedback on it. Um, but as far as his physical health, the stuff that we see on the outside, his he went from gaining a lot of weight and eating really unhealthy to over the last year gaining even more weight, continuing to eat unhealthy, continuing to eat a mass amount of food at one sitting and just like there's no turning back for him. There is no um, taking a break or anything. It's just, it's unlike anything that I have ever seen before. Maybe since it's something that we've never seen before, that could also play a role in why people are interested in it. But I don't think that people are interested in Nick Avocado in a manner of, oh, what's going on with him? It's kind of like people just look at, they look at him because they hate him and they look at him because it's his entire life and his whole existence has turned into a train wreck. And I guess the thing that I sit back and think about is, was it all worth it? You know, if, if I was going to, if I was going to ask Nick Avocado one question and I knew that I could get an honest explanation for it, I would ask him, was the money worth putting your entire health and your overall well-being in jeopardy? Because there is no denying that his lifestyle and um, diet and everything has played a major role in you know, unless he gets help and can seriously get back on track and lose a lot of the weight and change his eating habits and, you know, get into a better place mentally and physically, I just don't see how someone can continue to go on with the path that he's been on and also considering that it's only gotten worse. The tale of Nick Avocado is one that is very, very tragic. And I've definitely heard somewhat of a large group of people online call for him to be deplatformed. And I don't think that he should be deplatformed. And the reason is, is because deplatforming him is not going to make him better. And, you know, it, the same, the same rule applies to, um, Eugenia Cooney. Unfortunately, I don't like saying her name on my channel, but I will only say it that one time and I will say the rule applies to both. Deplatforming someone in that position who is struggling with their mental health and their physical health is not going to force them to have an awakening and get better. All the commentary videos in the world are not going to force someone to take a look at their life and want to get better or turn it around. So I don't think that he should be deplatformed. Um, the only person that can better Nick Avocado is Nick Avocado. It has to be something done on his time when he's ready. And if he's never ready, then I 
think that that would be a very unfortunate set of circumstances. But I mentioned this in this video because I am really curious about what do you guys think? Are you on the side where you don't watch him at all or do you check in once in a while and see what he's up to? Are you familiar with his recent set of kind of shenanigans that he's been publishing on his channel with this disability and just continuing to snowball? What is Ural's stance with Nick Avocado? Um, you know, what, what do you guys think? I'm really curious. So anyway, I'm going to finish out my little break and have a productive rest of the day, hopefully. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.